Marine Ocean State now where Governor Rauf Arabashala is seeking the approval of the State House of Assembly to create 27 new local government areas in the state. Presenting an executive bill for the creation of the new local government areas to be called Local Council Development Areas in Oshobo, the Governor said the decision to create the new councils is to ensure development gets to the nooks and cranny of the state. Most recently, when a governor appears before parliament, it's either for issues bothering on budget presentation or in defense to impeachment threats. But this visit by Ben Rauf is not on any of the two, but to seek for powers to create additional 27 local government areas. The implication of this is that the chairman and vice chairman of the council will be an elected councillor from the party having majority seats in the council with other relevant qualifications. In our firm conviction that this will inevitably reduce cost of governance, enhance quality of representation at the grassroots level, and ensure smooth running of the local government administration. He's not done yet. For him, the bill would seek the approval of the parliament for the creation of the office of council managers for the new local government adding that the council managers will be civil servants under the employer of the local government service commission from grade level 14 and above. This provision is to remove some obvious constraints to local government administration, particularly the challenge of funding top heavy bureaucracy and to invigorate the administration by deploying officers who still have their career dependent on their performance at the council. Responding to the proposal, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Najim Salam, assured that the House would give special consideration to the bill in the interest of the people of the state. By now, we ought to be consolidating on the gains of the aborted council created by our Kandi government. But we are forced to open a new page for the creation of new development outposts at the grassroots in our state. And the only, one, the only way we can appreciate history this time is to latch on the opportunities that will be created today to tour around our cities, town, and rural areas. And this must be a collective responsibility. The clamor for additional local government in Oshu State has been on long before now, and the underlying factor of the proposal this time is to re-engineer the local government system and also serve as a pace setter for other states. When passed into law, Oshu will have 58 local government areas.